back folks, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. In the last part, we uh, had a new bad guy, his name was Hans, he was an agent for Germany and we had to go here to meet a, a girl called Sophia Hathgood. I can't make a call, I'm out of nickels. Just to let you guys know, this is where the game starts to become a little bit more complicated. As you can see on the right side, you can interact with various items and stuff by using these orders here, like so. Hmm, it's unlocked. Oh, hang on. What do you want, pal? Oh, it's, it the... No kick it off. Oh, it's the big guy. Hmm, let's try and be smart. Let's say we're going to enjoy the show. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. You got it in there. This ain't that kind of show. Hmm. Let's try this option. Oh, of course not. Madam Sophia is a serious thinker. Don't kid around, pal. You're but talking about my idol. Hey, she's my idol too, you know. I bet she's the greatest. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. Yeah, she's very pretty. I think. Yeah, she's very pretty. That goes without saying. Good night. Oh no, you don't. We're not leaving. We're not Wait leaving. Wait a minute. Why won't you take no for an answer? Can I not spoil the little kid? No, I need to talk to your star. Okay. I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer, huh? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's very smart. See? What? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... She... Flatters her hair around? Oh, no, no. Something else. Uh, let's try that option. The way she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, hey, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. Yay! I got to go in without being beaten up. Okay. Now let's go and uh, talk to Sophia. Wait! Oh, what now? You must be the new doorman. Am I? About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Oh, you're telling me. Um, let's try the top option. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Yeah. Why the letter? <sighs> Dude. Okay, folks, let's talk to the guy again. Uh, there we go. Now talk to him. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. Now that's amazing. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts. This is complicated. Such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like any other female that I know of. No, I'm kidding. Sounds like me on a good day. Excuse me. No, excuse me, sir. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What? There's more of this? What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. No, that's a grim sight. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Goodbye, or, Atlantis. Perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. You're telling me? I, give me a headache. Now, um, sir, can I ask you a question? Again. 
Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Hmm, you look tired. Mm, you look tired. tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. <laughs> Is that so? Now, sir, I'm going to talk to you again. Excuse me. I need some answers. Yeah, what now? Okay, let's try something else. Uh, isn't there something you'd, isn't rather, there something be doing? you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Hmm. Do you have any hobbies? Don't you have any hobbies? Sure, I read. Oh, okay. What if? What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Okay then. Let's try uh, that. Um, this was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Indiana Jones, you and your charms don't seem to work. Now let's see if I can um, give this piece of paper to the stage holder. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Oh my god. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go outside, folks. We're going to have to go outside and uh, see if I can find something else for the guy to read. <laughs> Alright, now is there anything around here? Uh, what if I go this way? Um, walk. The way looks blocked. Okay, that didn't work. Um, what if I, um, can I push this crate or something? Um, let's, let's try and push the crate. Oh, it works, okay. Okay, I'm not sure what to do here at the moment. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, I know what it does. It's meant to go up to that fire escape. So if the guy blocked you again... So if you couldn't get through where I got through the guy, um, obviously you could go that way. Walk to newspaper. I wonder, can I, can I pick this up or something? Uh, here we go, pick up. And, oh, I didn't work, try again. Oh, it did work! Well folks, I'm going to end the part here. I hope you're enjoying it so far, and next time we will give this stage hold a newspaper to read. Until then, until then.